Hi, it's Dre Griggs with Obsidian Wisdom. Today we'll be answering the question, what is the difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA? So there are three differences that we're going to talk about today. First one is the tax implications. So if you have a traditional IRA, then that is means that you're going to put this money in tax deferred. And what I mean by tax deferred is you're not going to pay taxes on the money today, as long as you don't pull it out before 59 and a half. And when you retire, you will pay whatever the income tax is at that particular um, time. That tax could be different based on your income bracket. That tax could be different based on the laws that we live under. But whatever your idea is, you would be interested in a traditional IRA if you believe that you will pay a lower tax rate in the future. If you believe that it is possible that you may actually have a higher tax rate in the future, then you're going to want to lean towards the Roth IRA. So the Roth IRA is going to allow you to put in money that has already been taxed. So you've already settled all your taxes with Uncle Sam. He's good. He's not going to bother you as long as you don't touch the money early. So again, you have that same 59 and a half that you would be accessing your money. And as long as you wait until after that, Uncle Sam is pretty good with that. He's not going to bother you about a lot of this stuff because you've already paid the taxes on it. So it's like, hey, that's your money. As long as you're using it for retirement, because that's what I designed this instrument for to help you limit your tax burden in retirement, then you're good. The second thing you'd want to think about is the contribution limits. So the good news is the amount of money that you can put in both of them is $6,000 as long per year, as long as you're not over the age of 50. What happens when you're over the age of 50, you get what's called this catch up provision. And basically you get an extra thousand dollars that you can put in each year. So once you're over 50, you can put in $7,000 a year versus the $6,000 a year right now. Now, it's important to note that you actually can't put like $6,000 in your traditional IRA and then put another $6,000 in your Roth IRA. Your Roth IRA and your traditional IRA are seen as the same contribution. So what that means is they take the combined contribution. So if you put $3,000 in your Roth, then you can only put $3,000 in your traditional IRA. If you put in $6,000 in your Roth, then you can't put anything in your traditional IRA and vice versa. If you put $6,000 in your traditional IRA, then you can't put anything in your Roth. So you want to also keep that in mind when you're deciding. Now, the other key difference that I think is worth mentioning is really when you start talking about some of the limits. And what I mean by limits is the Roth IRA is has like income limits. So if you start making a certain amount, they will reduce the amount of money that you can put into your Roth IRA. And once you exceed like the highest mark, then you're not able to contribute to your Roth IRA in any way, shape or form. Now, there is something called a backdoor Roth, which I will discuss in another video where there is this ability for people who make more than the traditional um, Roth IRA would allow you to access it. But you're able to do what's called a backdoor Roth, which would then allow you the ability to have the tax benefits of the Roth IRA versus just um, not being able to take advantage of them in any way, shape or form. So while that is something also worth considering, it will be a completely different topic of its own. So I will go into that. But just right now, know that there are income limits on your ability to access the Roth. Now, when it comes to the traditional IRA, there are limits that they'll put on how much you can deduct in your taxes. What I mean is the way that your traditional IRA works, because you're putting in your money before its income in most circumstances, it then is counted where it reduces your income per year. So what I mean is if you make $100,000 per year and $6,000 you put inside of your traditional IRA, well, your tax, your tax liability, you'd only be taxed on $94,000 of income. And so that ability lowers your overall taxes where you get to deduct some of it. Now that amount that you can deduct changes whether your spouse is also working, whether you have access to a retirement plan through your company, where there's these little things where they will take away some of your ability to reduce your overall taxes. So that would also be something that you want to be considering when it comes to your um, traditional IRA versus the Roth IRA. Now, there is also an extra benefit for anyone that's in a, a lower income tax bracket 
where they will be able to get a savers credit anytime that they contribute to their IRA. So again, it's just another way that Uncle Sam is trying to encourage and kind of sway, make decisions a more beneficial for us. And then at the same time, Uncle Sam is also trying to deter some others from taking advantage of, of some of the structuring of their designs. But it doesn't mean that you are unable to take advantage of it. It just simply means that you have to be um, very thoughtful in your process and the way that you would go about doing it. Now, if you need more help understanding your retirement needs, I invite you to check out my free retirement planning that works video training. It's about 35 minutes. It's free, no charge to you. And in it, I'll give you the entire wisdom metric framework that I use with my clients to help them eradicate their financial stress, generate a passive income and build a prosperous retirement strategy. Until next time, wisdomites, remember, Wisdom is asking the right questions to allow yourself to get the right answers. Keep asking those questions and you will keep getting those answers. Continue blessings.